Hi everyone, welcome back to my planet. My name is Maureen and it's currently 7.46 or something which on a Saturday, which means one thing that I am leaving my Weight Watchers workshop and yes, it's another weigh in day update video, but not only that, fun things. I'm going to be talking about the plan change because yes, there is a little plan change, a modification, not a new plan, but a simplification, my leader says. And I'm going to be talking about that and my thoughts on it. But first, I thought I would get out of the way how my week went and um, my, my results on the scale. So how did I do this week? On Saturday, I'm not going to lie, I did eat, oh, I ate, I was hungry, and I, I don't know, I just tracked everything as 200 points. I was like, that's probably around the ballpark. If you're wondering where I'm going, I'm going to Walmart right now, but that's how I did, but, and this week, I mean, the rest of the week was good. I stayed within my points. That was easier to get into, and, um... I've been doing hour-long workouts, so I have Beachbody's Body On Demand, and if you're familiar with that, you know what I'm talking about, and starting on the 7th of this month, they, or Autumn Calabrese, who's one of the trainers, she was doing a, uh, a healthy obsession, which is an hour-long workout. I haven't done an hour-long workout in so long. I was nervous about it. It was hard, but she has some gems that she says during the workouts to keep you going, and it definitely kept me going. So you know what? I was like, I'm just going to do an hour-long workout, and I did an hour-long workout this whole week, so... And with that, yeah, where did, oh my God, I totally lost the little slip that she writes my weight on. But with that said, I don't know where it went. Is it here? Oh, here it is. While I'm at this red light, let me show you guys. Yeah, that's how I did. I thought it would be a little bit more of a loss, but I said that, I said that, and this lady, she said, any loss is a good loss, so I'm like, you know what, that's true, any loss is a good loss, so that's that. Now, let's get on to the fun stuff that we want to talk about, I should not be, I should have gotten gas first, but I only have, I have eight miles, crap, eight miles, I better turn this off, it's not going to be eight miles from here to the gas station, hope not. Anyways, so let's talk about the fun stuff, which is the plan change. Yes, there's a plan change happening this Monday, the, what's today, the 12th, the 14th. The 14th, there will be a plan change, you guys. It's not a completely different plan, as my leader says, it's a simplification. And just real quick, in a nutshell, because I'm sure you've seen all the videos, you've read all the blog posts, I'm sure you guys know, but in case you don't know, here's what I, here's what I know for sure. So it's just going to be like how freestyle was or the blue plan if you've been doing Weight Watchers for a while. It's going back to that setup, so which means that your daily points will change everyone. From the rumors I've heard, my leader made it sound like it might be different, but from what I have heard is that everyone is getting standard 23 points. Take that as you will, but everyone's getting 23 points and your zero point foods will change. So your proteins are going to stay zero. So beans, your beans, your chicken, your tofu, your legumes, your whatever, your eggs, all that stuff, it's gonna be zero. And things like avocado, potatoes, um, rice, all, the, all that stuff, that's gonna have points. Yeah, this lady was asking me to explain it at the meeting and I told her this and she's like, no, I have avocado every day. But your points change, so you're gonna have 23 points. Now, how do I feel about this? As someone who has been doing Weight Watchers for many, many, many years, who's gotten to goal on Weight Watchers and has managed to stay there, who's at Lifetime, how do I feel? So at first it did come as a shock to me because I'm like, 
it hasn't even it's been a year since the plan changed from smart points to this so initially it's been that and i knew changes were coming when weight watchers on instagram started calling themselves weight watchers again and i'm like oh we might be getting some sort of change i didn't think it was a plan change i think it was a marketing name change that was coming along and so i thought oh okay that's what's happening and then i hear it's a plan change i like this plan i don't love this plan but i like this plan i don't want it to change good news with that so on monday your app's gonna say would you like to change over and if you click no you're gonna have you're gonna be able to keep that option for three or four weeks they're giving you three or four weeks to transition out of it which i think is great so that's what's happening and i was like what i was weirded out and then we saw the wellness wins go away so i thought something was brewing i didn't think it was a plan change and now that i know more or less of what is happening of what it is i'm i'm not keen because it's again it's going back to freestyle if you've been following me and you know me, you know I hated freestyle. I did not like it. Why? Freestyle felt like a diet to me. Why? Because I understand this. We went from beyond the skill, which had 30 points, to freestyle, which gave you 23 points. Immediately, you lose 7 points, right? Yeah, you lose 7 points, but you get all these extra 200 zero-point foods. Great in theory. Great! But here's the thing, I'm not eating 90, I'm not eating 97% of those foods, at least not consistently, at least not to justify losing seven points. And if I am eating them, I'm going to, I feel like I'm being forced to eat these foods because what else is there to eat? And there's zero. So that's why I'm eating them. They're not encouraging me to eat healthier. It's encouraging me to be miserable. <laughs> because there's going to be days where I, yeah, there's going to be days where I'm just eating zero point foods. And there's going to be days where I'm eating the complete opposite. It's called balance. I don't like that Weight Watchers is pushing us off, is pushing us more towards the healthier way of eating instead of balanced. I don't like that. So now I'm really nervous. And the two times that I have absolutely wanted to quit this program was on freestyle was on, it was on freestyle and I wanted to quit and I didn't. So because some my leader, my God bless her, my leader said something and she was a one of a kind. So that, that was the only times that I wanted to quit. That was the only time I felt like this plan was on a diet. I was miserable on freestyle. I don't think I that shouldn't be my thought. That shouldn't be be my mindset going into this plan but yes i'm scared because i feel like i'm gonna be starving again and i feel like i'm i don't know i don't I, it's just not a good mindset that i'm in with this plan i don't know and with this algorithm so this algorithm it's not the smart points algorithm it's still going to be personal points algorithm how they um how they calculate a point which is a bit scary to me because yes things like avocado and beans are lesser compared to the green plan they're less in points but then things that i do want to eat are more in points cheese is more in points cheese is more in points the little pretzels are more in points my um the halloween candies oh my gosh they went up in points so much and it's just ridiculous to me it's ridiculous we shouldn't be we should drink more water and eat more vegetables because it's we're encouraged to because it's a better for us because that's what we want not because we feel forced into doing it and that's how i feel with this plan is i feel like i'm going to be forced into eating this way and I don't know that's another thing we will not be getting any more points we will not be able to earn points through vegetables and water only through exercise which is fine i didn't calculate my vegetable points anyways so that doesn't bother me but water it's one point it's one stinking point give us that but they're not so i don't know i'm really nervous um 
am I going to be sticking with Weight Watchers? I'll tell you this, I'm not going to be changing over my app. I know this is, you're probably like, this is a terrible mindset to have. You know, This isn't how you usually go in with things, but it's just me being real. And by no means am I trying to like bash or talk crap about Weight Watchers. I'm just saying my fears and I think that's normal. I think everyone has fears. I don't know how to address them. If you guys know how to address them, please let me know. Am I going to try it out? I, I honestly don't know. My game plan right now is to stick with these three, four weeks that we still have this current plan and then change over to iTrack Bytes, which I don't want to do. I don't want another app. I don't want another thing. Ugh. I don't know what to do. If you guys know what to do, please let me know. What would I suggest to someone else? I would suggest try it out. Yeah, maybe I'll try it out. Maybe I will. I'll give it a week. All right, how about that? I promise, I'll I'll give you guys this. I'll give it a week. Does that, I'll give it a week. I'll try it out for a week. I'll see what happens. And if I see that it's not benefiting me or if I absolutely hate it, we'll go from there. But for right now, I'll give it a week. I'll do the plan as designed. I'm not going to add my little twists and turns and magic dust to it. I'll do it as it is. If you guys do it as it is. All right, we'll do this together. Yes? Yes. So that's just what I wanted to say. Uh, my fears... I'll give it, I'll give it a whirl. I'll give it a whirl. Whatever, I'll give it a whirl. So I just thought I would voice my fears, my nervousness about it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have any advice for not only me, but anyone else who might be feeling the same? Please let me know. I All your good wishes, all your thoughts in the description or not in, this, in the description, in the comments, please. I'm gonna go to Walmart. What am I getting? Getting salads. I re I'm really a sucker for their pre-made salads these days. They have an everything but the bagel salad they have. Oh my gosh, their salads are so bomb. So I'm gonna be getting those for lunch. And what I do is like, here's how I track the salads. So it'll say three and a half servings, okay? So I'll put three and a half and one serving is a cup so i'll put three and a half cups and whatever that is like 12 14 points maybe i'll do it in half and i'll put half the little toppings on it and i'll i count that as seven i don't know to me that's right if you don't think that's right that's fine but i think that's right so <laughs> it works for me it's working so far so i don't know be sure to like and subscribe you guys and let me know your thoughts and if you're excited let me know how you feel about this plan change coming up on monday in the comments below i'll see you guys later bye